putting your fingers all over those nice little copper pins while you're trying to pull this out. So anyway, 200s on right and maybe pegging close to 300 on reeds, but uh, we're just not. Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video we're continuing our line of storage videos. This is a video about the PNY uh, 120 gig solid state drive. So this is a two and a half inch SATA uh, and it says it is up to six gigabytes per second. Uh, we will actually test this out and see exactly if it gonna, it's going to uh, get those speeds. Um, Sadly, we're going to have to test it via USB 3.0, uh, which is going to be limited to the 5 gigabit throughput. But uh, if, in that case, we should see uh, 500 uh, megabits per second read and write on this bad boy. So uh, we'll see if it even gets to that number. Um, so you can see here, this is the uh, PNY, like I said, and uh, shockproof, no moving parts, lower power consumption. They do have a nice three year warranty on it. Um, so uh, let's see, Sandforce 22XX series on the controller and 128 bit AES, which is uh, encryption uh, if you want to encrypt it. And uh, you know, there you go, there's a little bit of its information. And uh, you know, solid state are normally really fast drives. Now, there, there's varying levels of solid state drives out there, and that's why we're going to take a look at this one from PNY. This one's a really affordable drive so when I saw the price point and that it actually boasts the six uh, gigabits per second I thought well let's just check this drive out and see if it's gonna live up to its hype so you do get a little uh, SATA uh, cable there whoops give it a sling and then the actual drive itself not a whole lot to see here in the box what the what we're gonna do here is actually pause this video and uh, hook this up to a MacBook Air through the USB 3.0 port um, and uh, run some speed tests on it. So here as you can see here is the actual drive itself. Try to get it out of the little packaging. Try to get it off camera here. Trying not to touch the controllers as much as possible in here. They don't make it very easy to get it out of the bag and not touch the controllers. I feel like this should probably be in the other way so you're not putting your fingers all over those nice little copper pins while you're trying to pull this out. So anyway, here is the drive itself. Like I said, 120 gig, SATA 3, 6 gigabits per second. Um, serial numbers, yada yada yada, the 120 GL dash XLR kind of sounds like a car uh, and then the PNY solid state here on the front so let's go ahead I'm gonna stop the video we're gonna load this up and test it and look at some uh, IO diagnostics just to see what we're getting and like I said we're gonna use USB 3.0 which will not let it hit it's six gigabits per second it's just a limitation of USB 3.0 but if we can hit 500 per second or megabits per second, then I would be good. So I'm gonna pause the video and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, welcome back, guys. And so we're running the uh, speed test on this SSD. Now we have just plugged it into the MacBook Air. As you can see here, I have a SATA to USB um, adapter that we're uh, running, and this is USB 3.0. Uh, so we're hooked into USB 3.0, and as you can see, we're running the speed test on this guy and uh, not super great speeds let's go ahead and try to zoom in here just a little bit and see if I can show you what we're getting on speeds if we can get it focused so we're looking at about about 130 to 140 writes and about 242 to 250 reads which isn't terrible um, I would expect maybe a little bit faster performance with this drive um, through USB 3.0. Uh, you know, I, I think I'd mentioned 500 megabits per second. Um, probably not going to see that. Uh, that's more in the Thunderbolt uh, speed lines. I was, uh, for some reason, I was thinking Thunderbolt when I said USB uh, 500. I actually kind of expected more in the. 200s on right and maybe pegging close to 300 on reads, but uh, we're just not seeing that. Um, 
left. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, we can do some more different tests with uh, this drive. So uh, there'll be some follow-up videos. I'm actually going to put this in a Bricks computer. Uh, and then actually try to run some speed tests on it through that as well. So that'll be a video that's coming up down the road uh, to check that out. And then uh, also we're going to run some more speed tests with different kinds of hard drives or SSDs on this same setup and see what we get and kind of compare them. And uh, I'll have a little chart out there, you know, like the PNY versus the uh, Kingston and maybe versus the Samsung, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, guys, check the show notes for a link. Uh, this is, you know, it's a, it's a good, solid SSD. It's not terrible. For the price that they have on it, it's a great bargain. If you're looking for a 120 gig SSD to put as your OS drive and boot from it, then this is the one for you. Uh, there's no problem whatsoever with these speeds. These are, um, you know, I would say low to mid range on what you could see from an SSD performance, especially through USB 3.0. If this was just hooked directly into my computer, uh, directly into the controller, we'd see better speeds. Again, um, you know, not a whole lot better because we are not close to the limitations of USB 3.0. So I wouldn't anticipate blowing it out of the water much more than what we're seeing here um, for uh, speeds. But uh, anyway, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and a subscription to the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.